Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2016, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, we've got a few wonderful turn of events that is going to bring sweetness and softness and love into your life. And one of them, without a doubt, the highlight is the fact that Venus will enter your sign. So right around the middle of the month, Venus will enter your sign. This will bring a tremendous amount of sweetness, of softness, of beauty, of light, and of course, love into your life. What the thing is with Venus, Venus is goddess of love, but Venus is often pictured uh, as kind of laying back, right? She's often pictured, especially in the Western world, as a female figure who allows good things to come to her, is able to attract whatever it is that she desires into her life. That's materially and that's on a heart level as well. And so when I see a sky like this, I think about how, yes, there is some powerful attraction being propelled towards another person kind of energy here, okay? So there's some very strong fadedness to some of the bonds that may show up for you and some of the attractions in particular that may show up for you now, but ultimately they are connections that will arrive. There's not a whole lot you need to do when Venus is in your sign other than trust what it is that's fun for you and trust whatever it is that is pleasurable, that is joyous for you. Venus in your sign, and then a little bit of a side note, Venus in your sign generally is thought of as really good, uh, a really good time for makeovers, to make a significant change to your appearance, uh, for shopping, anything related to beauty um, or skincare, just beautifying treatments and things like that all around. Um, also cosmetic surgeries, tattoos, things like that can all go very well. However, I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up because Venus moving through your sign will be speaking with Uranus, will be speaking with Pluto as well. So I would encourage you, if that's something you're thinking of, especially the more permanent stuff, if that's something you're thinking of, I would encourage you to watch the weekly horoscopes if you're not already. And I'll give you a heads up as we go along week to week, um, because those are gonna be dates that you wanna give it as much of a window as possible, if you will. So. If you stick to any kind of changes that you're trying to make, especially permanent changes, um, if you stick to them right around the middle of the month or so, um, you're in a better position. Uh, you're able to take better advantage of the good vibes that Venus, Venus promises. And remember, this is like strictly cosmetic, very surface level stuff that we're talking about. Mars is retro right now. And so in general, if you have control over it, depending if it's a, a surgery, like a re-surgery, right? If it's something that's ongoing, something that you're hoping for resolution, something that's already happened before, then having Mars retrograde can actually work well at bringing final resolutions. But Mars retrograde in general is said to not necessarily be the best time for surgery, but I know that's a little bit of another thing. So let's bring it back to love because ultimately all these things, right? Like I like to say, it's just hair right? Lipstick is fun. But at the end of the day, there's something that is more substantial that is a part of everyone and everything. And of course, that includes in love as well. There's a more substantial energy, an energy of learning, an energy of connection. And also, I do think that there's something about knowing that you can be accepted as you are and loved as you are that can be tremendously healing to us on a very deep level, on a level that goes beyond words. And I think that this is gonna be part of some of the learning that shows up for you now. And that's largely because of the new moon taking place in the early part of the month. Now this new moon is activating some very quiet parts of your sky. Um, some very hidden, very underground parts of your sky are being highlighted, are being lit up with this energy. And what this essentially says is that, as I look at this, I think the likelihood for you of finding yourself um, in a situation that you feel you can't necessarily shout from the rooftops becomes possible with this energy. And particularly when it is something that you know you can't shout from the rooftops, and then maybe you know that it's something that isn't so good for you, um, but you feel compelled to go in that direction anyways, just know that these are some of the scenarios that may come up. And this is regardless of your 
relationship status, uh, particularly as we start. And so these are some scenarios, look, we're human beings, right? And I know that there are certain taboos and things like that, but this is part of the human experience that we can sometimes find ourselves in situations, in experiences like this. And if that should be the case, it may just be your own feelings. It may be you having to deal with someone else's feelings that you don't share and that you can't really do anything about. These are all some scenarios that may show up. The one thing also I would caution you with, and I again touched on this earlier, there is the possibility, particularly if this is someone who in any way is connected on a work level, okay, and a like, you know, job level that you do, the workspace level, there is the possibility that you're not necessarily seeing things accurately, whether that's intentional on their part or not. There might be that possibility there that things aren't necessarily as clear. Um, and when things do become clear, it can be a little bit of a surprise. So be open to that. At the end of the day, we don't know people as well as sometimes we might wish that we did, but all of it ultimately is part of our sacred learning. And as I said, there's nothing like love to help you learn about yourself. But the big news is that Venus. Venus will move into your sign, so all is well. It's like it doesn't even matter. By the time we get to Venus being in your sign, it doesn't even matter what transpires in the early part of the month because you know that there's love in the world for you. You know that you are gonna be okay. And you know that love is something that you deserve. Love that is kind, that is elevated, and that is honest. The moment that you tap into that conviction, the quicker it is able to manifest and be realized for you. As I said, there are some very faded moments set to take place here, thanks to Pluto standing across the sky from Venus. And what this tells me is that sometimes, you know, people show up and you can't help but go in that direction. You can't help but be intrigued. And sometimes people, nothing even needs to happen, but they leave you changed in some way. They help you see yourself and love differently. And it's just one of these types of people that may show up for you now, particularly as we move further and further into the month. If you are in an established bond, it is about, as I look at this, uh, you know, one scenario that may play out is, it's almost as if I'm seeing like, you realize something or you know something about your partner and you are trying to figure out if it affects you or not. Um, it may be that you can understand why your partner wouldn't be ready to, to broadcast something because it would leave them feeling very vulnerable. So you can have that sense of empathy and love for them and yet not really know what you feel about them not being upfront with you. So this is one scenario that may play out for a small percentage of you, but all in all, the energy does say that love changes you and helps you get honest with you and the power of love has an ability now to create a change and create a sense of self honesty that brings forward and prepares the ground for a new version of you. Remember once we get to next month, we are going to have a full moon in your opposite sign. And that is going to be a big deal. That is going to be a big change. Having that full moon in your opposite sign is really going to bring love to the surface. So right now it is there, but in some ways it is quiet. Love is quiet and yet more profound, more deep. Next month, you'll be ready to fully embrace the changes that start now. And you'll be ready to fully celebrate the truth that is setting the stage to be revealed for you in these very moments.